Welcome to Two Minutes with Mike, where I attempt to boil your noodles in the time it takes to cook my noodles. When faced with a challenge, I often hear people say, I don't have faith for that. Similarly, when faced with a decision and a dilemma, people may say something along the lines of, I chose what I had faith for. Now that may sound spiritual. It may even appear wise. After all, Romans 14, 23 does tell us, whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. But such a concept, such an idea would be a misapplication of that verse. If this is how we are to live our lives, by what we have faith for, then we have a big problem. We would be confined to doing what's easy. We would be, we would be risk averse and we would never truly grow. I remember hearing a preacher say that we should dare to attempt things so impossible that, if they're, that they're doomed to failure if God isn't in them. He is the God of the impossible, not the possible. This doesn't just apply to signs and wonders. In Luke 17, the disciples respond to Jesus' instruction on sin and repentance and the need to forgive our brother, crying, increase our faith. This should be our approach also, asking the Lord to give us the faith to walk in obedience to Him. And if we do so, He will surely respond. In summary then, we are called not to do what we have faith for, but to find faith for what we are called to do. That's all for now. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.